Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. What is a river? Can you name any rivers? Do you know where any rivers are located? Before Jesus began his public ministry of teaching and works, he traveled from his hometown of Nazareth in Galilee to the Jordan River. Today we will learn that Jesus came to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. Now we're going to play a quick game. I'm going to tell you something that you are going to get ready to do. I want you to say one thing that you need in order to be ready. Are you ready? You're getting ready to go to school. What do you need to be ready? One thing. Okay. What do you need to do to be ready to take a test? How about going to the beach? What about leaving for vacation? Playing in a baseball game? Okay, last one. What do you need to do to be ready to eat dinner? Depending on where we're going or what we're about to do, we might have different ways of getting ready. John the Baptist was called by God to get ready for the Messiah by telling people to repent and be baptized. But Jesus was called by God to get ready for his ministry by being baptized, even though he never sinned. All right, let's review our big picture question again. What did Jesus do to save us? Jesus lived a sinless life, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. We've been learning that Jesus came to earth to save us from the punishment our sin deserves. But in order for Jesus to take away our sin and give us his perfect righteousness, he had to live a sinless life. This means that he had to always obey God no matter what. Today, we will learn how Jesus obeyed God and was baptized even though he had no sin to repent of. All right, let's watch our Bible story. John the Baptist lived in the wilderness. His clothes were made out of camel's hair and he wore a leather belt around his waist. He ate locusts and wild honey. John began telling people, repent and be baptized because God's kingdom is almost here. Long before John was born, the prophet Isaiah said, someone is shouting in the wilderness. He says, prepare the way for the Lord, make his paths straight. Isaiah was talking about John. John had a very important job. He was supposed to get people ready for Jesus, God's promised Messiah. People started to repent. They turned away from their sins and turned to God for forgiveness. Then John baptized them in the Jordan River. Baptism was a picture that the people's sins had been washed away. John preached, someone greater than me is coming. I am not worthy to remove his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. John was talking about Jesus. By this time, Jesus was an adult. He went to see John the Baptist at the Jordan River. When John saw Jesus, he said, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus told John that he wanted to be baptized, but John didn't think he should baptize Jesus. I need you to baptize me, John said. Why do you want me to baptize you? John was confused. He baptized people who confessed their sins. Jesus never sinned. Jesus said, allow me to be baptized. God says this is right. So John agreed and he baptized Jesus. Jesus immediately came up out of the water. Suddenly the heavens opened and Jesus saw the Holy Spirit coming down on him like a dove. God's voice came from heaven. This is my son, the voice said. I love him and I am very pleased with him. Jesus never sinned, but he obeyed God and was baptized like sinners are baptized. Baptism reminds us of Jesus' death and resurrection. It reminds us that when we trust in Jesus, we turn from sin and start a new life, a life lived for Jesus. John the Baptist had a very important job on earth. God showed John that he needed to tell people to repent of their sins and be baptized. Did baptism save people? No. 
Baptism did not save people then, and it does not save people now. John's baptism was meant to be a sign that people wanted their sins washed away. Did Jesus need to confess sin before he was baptized? No. Jesus lived a sinless life. John the Baptist knew that Jesus lived a sinless life, so he was confused that Jesus wanted to be baptized. But Jesus obeyed God and told John that he had come to live a sinless life for us, and baptism was a part of God's plan. Was God happy when Jesus was baptized? Yes. God said that Jesus was his son and that he was very pleased with him. Because Jesus always trusted God and obeyed him, God was happy with his son, Jesus. Jesus lived a sinless life for us. When we trust in him, God doesn't punish our sin. Instead, he sees Jesus' perfect life and does not punish us for our sin. By faith, we can live a new life that does good works for God. All right, now let's watch questions from kids. Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for questions from kids. Dallas from St. Paul, Minnesota asks, How does Jesus baptize people with the Holy Spirit? Dallas, that is an awesome question. In our Bible study today, we see that John uses the word repentance and repentance is a big deal. And I hope you have repented and turned away from your sins and turned to Jesus Christ and that you live a life of repentance because as believers, we have to repent a lot. Now, in scripture, John baptized Jesus Christ. In this baptism, we see that the Godhead present. We see Jesus Christ there. We see the Spirit descending like a dove and we hear the awesome voice of God the Father speaking from heaven. And simply put, Jesus Christ allows the Holy Spirit to dwell in us because he speaks it. And anything Christ speaks happens. Now, now what does this mean for us? Like him baptizing us with the Holy Spirit results in unity with Christ. We become one with him. And it gives us extraordinary power to do the work of God. And as our flesh is busy, sometimes wanting to do the wrong thing, the power of the Holy Spirit is also busy reminding us to do the right thing. Baptism is the word of God and the water. You know, we are called to be obedient to God in many, many ways. He tells us in scripture to be obedient, to be obedient. Why do you think baptism is an act of obedience for Christians? How does Jesus baptize people with the Holy Spirit? Why is baptism an act of obedience for Christians? Now, let's look up our new key passage. It's John 1.29. Go get your Bibles. Okay, we're going to start in the table of contents, and we're in the New Testament now, which means we're in the second column, and we are looking for John, which is the fourth book in the New Testament. And in this Bible, it's on page 1163. Just going to flip over there. There's John. So we're going to look for chapter 1 is right here. See that big blue one? And now we're going to look at the tiny numbers underneath it and look for the 29. And it is right here. And it says, the next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John the Baptist knew that Jesus never sinned. Because Jesus never disobeyed, he could be the perfect sacrifice for our sin when he died on the cross. All right, would you pray with me? God, thank you for sending Jesus to save us from sin. Help us obey you by faith like Jesus did and trust you always. Amen. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.